All right, so here we have a question that states which of the following is or are included in the QT interval, okay? So A, ventricular repolarization, B, ventricular depolarization, C, both A and B are correct, or D, none of the above, okay? So first off, we have to know the portions of the cardiac complex and what they represent. So we have that listed here, and again, here is our P wave. And remember, our P wave represents atrial depolarization, okay? And then we have our PR segment, this portion that follows. Remember, the PR segment uh, and the P wave make up this PR interval, all of this portion. And repolarization of the atria then follows the P wave and occurs in this region here and is often buried within our QRS complex. And that's often why we don't see uh, that wave there. Now, the QRS complex, which is here, represents ventricular depolarization. So notice how we depolarize things and then we repolarize it. Now the ventricles are depolarizing. And then you have here the T wave that represents ventricular repolarization, okay? So notice our question has repolarization of the ventricles as well as depolarization. So it's pretty much asking, does the QT interval, okay, include the, excuse me, the ventricular repolarization would be the T wave. So does it include the T wave? Does it include our QRS complex? Okay, does it include both the QRS complex plus the T wave or is it none of these? All right, so the QT interval is from the beginning of our QRS complex, which is here, okay, all the way to the end of our T wave. Okay, so notice that here. And remember what we said, the QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization and the T wave ventricular repolarization. So we can state that the QT interval, okay, equals both the QRS complex plus the T wave, okay? Which means that we have ventricular depolarization and ventricular repolarization making up that. So that means both A and B are correct, meaning that C is the right answer. Both an A or B are the answer, okay? So the QT interval, okay, made, is made up of both ventricular depolarization and repolarization. And notice it includes the ST segment here that we have, okay? The ST segment, beginning of our J point, which is this point, the end of our QRS complex or start of the ST segment and up into our T wave, okay? So again, the QT interval includes both ventricular depolarization and repolarization. Now, clinically, we usually look at these different, they're based on age and sex, the QT interval. We use a QTC interval that corrects for heart rate, okay, either with the Bizet formula, which is commonly used, or the Framingham one, so both correct for heart rate. In males, we tend to think of things that are over 440 milliseconds or 450 milliseconds as prolonged, whereas females, over 460 milliseconds, okay? So that's the scales. But more clinically, not until it reaches about 500 do we start getting a little concerned of, you know, what antiemetic are we going to use, for instance, Zofran or antibiotic, all right? Now, just to conclude, again, the question was asking, what is included in the QT interval? So you have to know what it represents, okay? Both the QRS complex, which is ventricular depolarization, okay, as well as the T wave, which represents ventricular repolarization. So C is the correct answer. Both A and B are correct, meaning that both ventricular repolarization and depolarization make up the QT interval. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We're the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.